your apples, but what do you do with them? What are the different varieties, right? Mm -hmm. So this one, do you know what this is? Uh, Pippin? Granny Smith. Granny okay. Smith. So okay. these are our uh, green apples. Um, right here we have our Macintosh, and this is what they look like. They're a little bit mealy when you eat them fresh, but what I like to do is use them in baking. So our apple pies, you can even add in some Granny Smith for the tartness. There, for the tartness yeah. and the sweetness. Okay. These are my favorite. These are golden delicious. Uh, I like to eat these with my like almond butter or today I have cashew butter for like after school snacks. She made this cashew butter. Yeah, Very or nice. caramel. Um, cheddar cheese is always a nice uh, component to go with apples. Golden delicious are really sweet. Yeah, I use a lot of them for um, pies as well. Yeah, pink ladies. These are kind of in the later end of the season, so they're just starting. Another good just snacking apple. Love these in a salad with maybe some caramelized walnuts and a good mm. balsamic vinaigrette. Okay. Honey crisp. Um, those are another good eating apple. Sweet. Sweet, yeah, mm -hmm. very sweet uh, galas. Now, something interesting, um, this was named after Queen Elizabeth II. She oh. went to New Zealand and chose the gala apple as her favorite, so they named that strain after her. I love that. I yeah. wish you saw, because I know you were traveling in from Modesto, because mm -hmm. Michael Marks had all the um, origins of the names of different uh, fruits and vegetables. Yeah. So that's cool. Okay. And then uh, just some whimsical things. I made a little turtle out of a Granny Smith apple here, so we have a little green turtle. How cute. And a swan. Look at that. Wait, let's show can you point, turn it to the side? Yeah. So we Aww. turn. Yeah, so um, Cute. I've actually made this swan in a classrooms with a plastic knife. Uh, really simple, easy to do, and uh, students can do it without any um, you know, sharp objects. A plastic knife, too? A plastic knife. You can do that with a plastic knife. Okay, so what do you do during the week other than homework? She's a senior. <laughs> I'm taking a college statistics class. So that fills a lot of my time. Really? Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, I cook. Um, of course. Yep. Lots and people, of cooking. And you have a website too. And I have a website. I share so it. All my recipes and ideas are at farmgirlchef.us, and I have social media at the Farm Girl Chef. Okay. And I bet you post a whole bunch. Of, what would you say? The, uh, how often you cook during the week? Uh, at least five times a week. Really? Yes. Oh, so your family must love you. <laughs> yep. Breakfast or dinner, I pack my lunch. Favorite thing to cook? Favorite thing to cook. That's I like easy and... Easy. Um, stir fry is really easy. Whatever you have in the fridge, leftover meat, fresh meat, you just throw it in a wok and a little sauce. Where'd you learn how to cook? <laughs> my mom and uh, watching the Food Network and reading cookbooks. Very good. Good job. Thank you. Love Tina. when you always come in. Very nice. All right, there you go. Back